Today on Quick and Dirty, we are talking about logging levels for debugging our code using Apex. This is Brian James, and you're watching System.Debug. So as far as debugging goes in Apex, uh, we've got some other videos out on our channel that talk about what debugging is in general. However, today what I kind of want to go over is actually the different logging levels, and this will allow us to filter our code or filter our debug logs um, for more finer granularity should we need it. I'm going to do something really simple here uh, just to make this example happen for us. We're going to loop through a for loop just set to a thousand loops and what we're going to do is actually use our math.mod method from the math class. Uh, mixed with the different logging levels, just to kind of give an example of what the different logging levels can be. Now, there are eight different logging levels, none, error, warn, info, debug, find, find, or finest. Typically, whenever you're doing a debug, you're kind of just writing a really simple system.debug and throwing something in it, okay? But we can actually do a little bit more than that. So for instance in this case what I'd want to do is say on the finest level every single iteration I'd want to go ahead and say system.debug and in here I'm going to create a logging level uh, and we're going to make it finest autofill alright so logging level dot finest comma and then we're going to put in our iteration. In this case, we're going to say iterate, iteration space plus i. That way we can actually see what it is. Now, on the finest, most granular level, we're going to see every single iteration. Okay. However, we can go a little bit further with this. If we will say math.mod and when you're looking at this right here, it even says it, say integer x, integer y. And what this means is we're going to take integer x, in this case i, and divide it by 100, integer y, to determine a value. Okay, and this is so that we can check every 100 loops. So we're going to use i, we're going to divide i by 100 and see if it equals 0. If it equals 0, Then we're going to do another debug, only this time we're going to set our logging level to be a little bit lower. So logging level dot finer. We're going to throw this in here. And then we can kind of copy this whole chunk of code right here. And in this case, we will say 500. And just to make this fun, we're going to go finest iteration, finer iteration, and fine iteration. All right, so now when we're looking at this, we're going to execute our log. Bam. and click on debug only and now we can actually click down here in our filter log and this way I can say I only want to see all of my finest logs Oops. right so now by filtering on it I can actually see all of my different logs that I did for finest and you'll see there'll be actually a thousand of those one for each however sometimes you know I'm debugging at a different level I only want to see all of my finer logs and this one I'll actually have about 10 of right and then sometimes you only want to see fine oh but I guess this time okay well that that kind of backfired on me no lie uh, obviously in this case they're all finest or fine however the point I think still stands um, and once again you know you've got eight different ones that you can be using error warn info um, and, and this allows you to do multiple different things off of it based on other criteria. So you could determine 
ahead of time if you're doing try catches you know this is going to be an error uh, you know maybe it's just a warning maybe because you're breaking out of a loop or there isn't any data inside of a list so you might only warn saying you know hey there is no data an error may be that it completely failed on you so there's there's many different ways that you can work about this but the point is is that there's more than just your typical system.debug the debug portion of it uh, is the default value however there may be other things that you're trying to accomplish or you just want to be able to filter off of so this has been another quick and dirty with Brian James from system.debug I hope it helps have a great day